Hi, welcome back to our series of short videos looking at multiple choice question technique in the new A-level exams. This question is going to test your understanding of the difference between public and private goods with a particular focus on the concept of information. Here's a question. In 2014, there was an outbreak of Ebola in West Africa. People obtained information from hospitals radio broadcasts and notices posted by the roadside on how to prevent the disease from spreading. And the question is, how can these sources of information be classified? Hospitals, radio broadcasts and notices. Which of them are public goods and which of them are private goods? Have a think about the question, press the pause button and uh, whenever you press restart, I'll come back with the answer. So what was your answer to this particular question? The correct answer to this question is B. So let's work through. Hospitals are a private good. The information from hospitals is a private good in the sense that if you go to a hospital and ask for information on Ebola, the time spent imparting that information, giving that information to you, has an opportunity cost. In that sense, that, that, uh, that information is rival. A uh, 15 minute advice session with somebody, a professional from the hospital, is 15 minutes that can't be spent giving that advice to somebody else. However, the information made available publicly <clears throat> through radio broadcasts and through public notices are non rival. Uh, that's one of the key characteristics of public goods, and crucially, they're non um, excludable. You can't necessarily exclude people from hearing the information if it's made publicly available. So, the best answer to this question is B. Hospital information services, face-to-face -face information services are private good, whereas the aspects of information from, from the internet, from the radio, public notices are uh, public goods. So the answer is B.